Guess who's back? Hey, back again. Uh, hey, okay, this fan is very loud, so I'm gonna have to turn off this loud. What's good, people? It's me, James Corbin Captures. Welcome back into this gig. Oh, I say excel of happiness, by the way, not excel of confusion or excel of frustration. I excel of breathing out of happiness. Yes, we found God. Okay, so unfortunately today, I'm bringing you a video that is being filmed with an iPhone. My iPhone. My camera's in repair since Turkey. This video straight up is gonna be a live update video. I've not planned what I'm gonna say, so I'm gonna come up and go dig in to my little story right now and what life has been saying. I feel like I'm already sweating. Okay, so let's be real, let's be real. My channel's been a bit of a desert, well, not desert, okay. My channel's been a bit of a nightmare. Uh, over the past two, three months, maybe it's two months, two months. So, obviously, went into exams period and things got detrimental. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. Things got detrimental when it. I was doing library sessions all night long in library, just completing coursework, just trying to go over things and make sure I'm doing it right and make sure like I'm doing my best. If that makes sense for second year university because of course I'm feeling second year uni since my last life update video so much has changed it's like it's, I don't know what do we start with this video in it but it's all positive and progression in it and that's what I'm going to share with you all today in it that's I'm so happy to be back and speaking to you lot I miss you lot okay before I even start can I just say yeah when I see some of you guys, like when I'm out and about, because you guys know I'm always traveling, I'm always around different parts of the UK. <laughs> and when like someone tells me, oh yeah, James, like Corbin, or like, well, I've watched your videos and then you're like to me, it means so much. Like it genuinely does mean so much to meet people who've taken what, one minute, two minutes, 30 seconds. Even if you looked at the thumbnail, or like, you know, and you've watched something and in your own time, it's just, it just, it's mind-boggling to me, innit? And when you come up to me and speak to me and let me know that, like, I'm doing something right at this YouTube thing, because sometimes it's like, okay, I'm posting content. I can see, obviously, that there's views. People are, some are watching it. I just don't know what people are thinking. What people are thinking, oh, give it a rest, James. You know what I mean? So people come up to me and tell me that they're watching the content and they actually find it interesting. It means so much to me. I'm so grateful, I'm so happy, I'm so interested to hear what you have to say. Even when people message me on Snapchat or on Instagram or whatever, or follow and interact with me, I speak to every single person and I appreciate every single message. And I want to get to know you lot because even though I'm so busy and like, I have so many things going on, I feel like I have such a... Uh, I feel so bored sometimes, I feel so bored. I don't know how that makes sense. But alone, alone is the word, alone is the word. Like I do feel like I spend a lot of time with myself because we gotta do what we gotta do, you know what I mean? But yeah, I really appreciate when any of you come up to me, it means the world. And that's what's kind of been keeping me so like in tune for when I come back to YouTube because I've been on and off in it um, in the past two months because I've just had so many things to do. So I've been posting very regularly. So it's just giving me the motivation in it just to come back and do my thing. But yeah, let's get on to this life update. So cool, I've been through exams and stuff. I finished second year. I finished second year. Maybe I will talk about second year, like on a whole, like a review, round it up in a whole separate video when I get my camera back because I hate filming on this iPhone, not giving you guys the best content I can. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so yeah, the last time I spoke to you guys, I'm going to go straight in with the family stuff and everything and how I've been doing mentally, physically, everything. Okay, so in my last video, you guys saw 
like I was just like in terms of like trying to reach out to people in my family who I've not spoken to in years and it's kind of weird like I was, I'm in a weird position it's like I'm in a positive place where I'm happy to reach out but it's weird it's like how can you find a place to get people who people such important people back in your life when you've already kind of figured out things for yourself and kind of learnt to cope and like I have a mechanism that works without everyone so it's like where does everyone fit kind of thing that's what it was kind of like for me it was weird even speaking to people like my mum and like it was just like it was just really weird it was just so weird like, and like it's like in my head have I really forgiven people do you know what I mean to like let them speak to me let them know things about me now it's like kind of like it was really weird it was like reintroducing myself to my mum it was so weird it was like yeah I'm really happy though that I've done that because like it's just shown like I made the right decision and in my right in the right time as well God really has been like guiding the wheel in this case and like I must be doing something right because things have been moving forward for myself me doing that because maybe in a way it was holding back something myself or making me hold anger or things for things that's happened in the past and just the way that I've had to maybe grow up quickly or grow up by myself which is finding part of my journey which I've come to terms with which is why I can smile and sit here in front of the camera and kind of speak about it now as well but yeah the big the big one of the biggest things as well within myself that's happened is that I've got my own flat now and like Oh my god, like I could literally cry tears, like literally of happiness, like oh if you know the journey it's been like because I've been like planning to get a new place, I've been knowing that this moment's gonna come, but I wasn't sure how God was gonna make it happen. But I was just moving with faith and speaking it into existence and doing my bit. And like I just kept oh I don't wanna talk too much about that as well because I wanna make a separate video when I do my first apartment tour. And show you all this place. I'm, I'm nearly ready to do the f to film it. I just want my camera. I'm gonna put up some pieces, and yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I've done. I've done so much DIY at this place. It's ridiculous. But like, yeah, it's just like I'm never just got to take deep breaths. It's like how God literally has like shown me how much like He's been like like I've been speaking it to existence in it that. I'm going to get what I want. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, you know when you've had to work so hard and still working so hard because this isn't it. This is There's so much more to come in Jesus' name, isn't it? I'm just so happy to have my own place right now. It's just, it's just been, it, like, the struggles I've been going through, even, like, going through, I've been view, going and viewings and visiting, letting agents and landlords and speak and negotiating with different people and things are falling through. Sometimes I've gone to places, things have been an absolute mess. And like I was looking for the best in my terms and I wasn't willing to go below that line. And God came through the right time and everything everything just made sense in it. So I'm so grateful. So yeah, I'm moving to my new place. I'm literally sitting into the sofa of my new place. Like you can see this grey going on. Okay, so what my new place? I was just so like I didn't speak about it to anyone, even people close to me, or like people I speak to every day. I was kinda like Pim until things were final only because I do believe in the idea of sometimes speaking things out that isn't yet final like it, you don't know what what airs can be hearing even if like you think you're doing well or not like the evil one can find his way do you know what I mean like I'm a strong believer in just like keeping things to yourself and if you're doing it privately and you're doing it without anyone's help it's keeping it to yourself and that like, when the time's right people can find out and for me, this is the comfortable time people can find out. I've been here for like two weeks now, just sorting out, buying new things. It's been a fun, but tiring, but rewarding process. And like, I'm just so, I'm genuinely happy. I'm sitting there smiling. I'm genuinely happy right now. Like, you don't understand how much this means to me. I put a post up on Instagram and um, like, everyone was just giving me such positive feedback and that like, even every single thing means a lot like I'm not going to sit here and lie like everything means a lot when people like congratulate me on anything like it genuinely means a lot because 
I didn't grow up in a household in it that like, where like I was built up or like told that I'm good things about myself. I've always like the person to kind of pat myself on the back and push my own confidence to be here so no one can pull me down there. Do you know what I mean? And that's like from in my household, it wasn't like a positive place for I was young. So like the stuff like congratulations, like people showing that they actually care really, really does mean everything to me. And I feel like I owe you all, which is why I'll continue to make content. I'll continue to find ways to give back to you all. Okay, and now another thing as well, which is also coming up later on in the summer towards September, but I'm hoping I have collaborated with a um, fashion design brand who's also fresh in me and creating a fashion line that represents so much to me and my branding and what I stand for and the things I'm putting that represents me as well. So I've made a fashion line, I've put bits of um, things on Snapchat, on Instagram, just behind the scenes of the shoots and like when I tell you guys, like me and this company, you've sat down from scratch, from sketches all the way down to the manufacturing, the creation, we've been hands on. It's not a, just a clothing brand and it's not going to be something where um, I'm trying to push for um, monetary gain at the moment. It's all about the message. I don't want to speak so much about it because I don't want to spoil it, but I just know it's all about uh, body empowerment, like the, um, all shapes and sizes, all people feeling good in it and everyone looking good. I want you all to look good and I hope at least one piece, every single person who's watching this should be able to buy or like would could see themselves wearing. That will mean a lot to me. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk too, too much about it because everything's gonna make sense soon. But I wanna mention it because it's been a big part and it's just been so rewarding to see something I drew and had in my head and like now coming to life. Because it's a case where, like, I'm a big guy in it. There's not much clothes out there that is stylish and fashionable. It's kind of you've got to pick and choose and, like, make things work together. Or you'll just look like a mess. And, like, that, I want all my bigger people, all my taller people, all my skinnier people, everyone to be able to look good and wear something that looks good. And something that's going to... The whole message of the brand and the campaign is just sick. It's so sick. It's so sick, I've been putting my time, my money into this all, like getting this flat and that brand thing and um, the collaboration. So it's just, yeah, these two things just mean the world. They mean the world. I can't wait to release that and show the flat um, tour soon. And of course, guys, I, I kind of like got over the whole idea of, like I remember the last up Life Update video I was talking about friends and just like how people can let you down and how I've been let down and kind of disappointed by people and I've forgiven them as well like honestly I forgive every I forgive everyone who's like done me wrong or done themselves wrong in some cases if you're watching this you kind of know who you are I kind of forgive you and like I've moved on to another place a higher place a progression like every day is progression I think about how I can be better in person in it and how, what keeps the smile on my face and know that I'm doing something that's gonna help me, help myself and future's bright in it. I've been working a lot, of course guys, I mentioned before I study um, film and television production, so I've just been heavily pushing myself to get a lot of work in TV sets. So sometimes you guys see me on Snapchat, you're thinking, what's this guy doing? Sometimes you'll see me on TV programs, sometimes you'll see me on film sets, sometimes you'll see me behind the scenes. It means I'm working in it, and it just means I'm running towards my dream in it. Ah, oh, guys, guys, guys. I'm just so happy, like, I'm going into third year now. I'm currently working right now. I'm currently working on projects right now. And, like, I'm willing to just put my full effort into everything. Guys, like, you don't understand how draining it was to just not know the idea of whether I would be have somewhere to live, because like I've been, I keep saying this, I don't know, obviously I say it, but I say it so lightly that you guys like might not get the gist. If I didn't get a place, I would have been homeless or I would like, I would have no idea where I would be. And like, it, that the thought of that was like draining. If I'm doing uni work, but I haven't, I'm like, I'm doing things all for the future, but I have no idea where I'm living in the next few months. God, God, God provided so much. Like I was working back to back, just, putting money down throughout the year.
because I know it was going to come to a point where I need to get somewhere in it. Oh, God is great. God is great. God is great. So, it was my brother's birthday. We've not been speaking too often as well. So, it was just interesting, isn't it? So, basically, I decided to, like, set up a meeting between myself, my older brother, and my mum. And, like, he didn't know she would be coming. I just kind of said, I want to, like, meet you for your birthday. Is that okay? Kind of thing. Brought my mum along and, like... It was, it was a icy situation, I can't lie. I don't know if he was happy with me or not, but I just knew God, something was inside me, God was just telling me, this is something you need to do, you need to bring everyone together kind of thing. I don't know whether it's backfired, I know he weren't too happy. I was even like giving a few side eyes here and there. Voices were raised at the dinner table, I must say, but it's the start in it, it's the start, it's the start, it's the start. This past week, two weeks, I've just been thinking, like, James, just imagine, like, imagine, like, the other routes you could have taken and, like, how much confidence I've kind of just put into myself and I kind of just push myself to go out and do things. And, like, if you take anything from this video, it's go out and do something for yourself in it. Even when everything's looking like it's against you or like it's looking like it's impossible. Like if you believe, like God will give you the wisdom, like you will find opportunities, but you have to believe it or else it won't come. Like once if you don't believe something, your whole energy changes. If there was a door open for you, you won't even see the door because you're so distracted by thinking that it's nothing's gonna come through. If God's placed somebody there to speak to you that day, and your ears aren't open, or you're not in the right way for your mind, you're not being respectful, you're not being a good example or somebody who's willing to do well and conquer, you're gonna lose that opportunity. It was just so important throughout all the stress that I was constantly fighting even harder for what I wanted, applying for more jobs, applying for more industry roles, pushing myself out there, um, taking myself my comfort zone, speaking to producers, speaking to people who I technically shouldn't be speaking to at my stage of my career. I can't say any, every and everything right now until they're solid, because you know me guys, I only speak things unless they are solid and they're written in stone and I can say it to you guys and to celebrate with you guys. So yes, I did say I'm looking to find a church. I still am very much invested in thinking about taking my faith to the next level because I'm seeing so much that God's done for me. It's only right that I'm able to at least take one day out of the week, the Sunday at least right now, to go into his house and like just give him thanks and praise, do you know what I mean? Start to give my tithe and things like that. Like, if this is what God's like doing for me just based on my faith and based on my praise, imagine what God can do for me like when I give my all if that makes sense and like it's funny like because I used to go to church a year or two ago and like like every week I used to go to church so church isn't something new to me it's just something that is missing right now I just want to go back into God's house in it and just like praise and like hear the word and be comfortable to read the Bible because it was like I lost it. Like I've downloaded, like my friend Rebecca, she's been just telling me to constantly read the Bible app and read verses and like make a prayer to understand, but it's just not going through. I'm realizing that it's the enemy, like that's not allowing me, well, not not that you like, because I'm with my free will, able to speak in front of you. I should be able to pick up the Bible and meditate and listen to the word in it. So. That's my goal really like right now is really to like give back to God and continue to work hard and continue to push myself to get opportunities that are even higher. Like my like the idea I literally a girl on Twitter called Vivintu, um I don't know if she'll watch this or whatever, but she even tweeted something saying your dreams should feel impossible and it, and that if it isn't it's not it's not high enough your dream should always be higher and higher than what anyone is doing because you can be the best if you're willing to put the work in for it and that's what i've learned over this past few months 
I spent very quiet moments where I was kind of being a lot of time to think and sit. And if I'm honest, I've not had time for people as well. Like, I felt, you, you just start to see everyone around you, like a lot of people, especially in uni, they seem so like immature and like, there's just no common ground anymore. Like what I would have had in first year or the, like, do you know what I mean? It's kind of like I've moved mentally and physically, emotionally, I've just kind of moved forward. And like, if people aren't at the same place, it's not good to kind of like, push yourself backwards to kind of just have friends or have people to talk to you. I prefer to sit with one person or no one at all. I have a group of people around me that no one's motivating anyone to do anything. Nothing's moving forward. Recently, I've just been thinking about love. Love, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't, Obviously, I'm getting older. I'm starting to mature even more and more. I'm just thinking about, it's like, when is a wife going to enter my life? I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. <laughs> but literally, I'm thinking like, there's no. I don't know if there's time for Miss Corbin right now. Because I've got so much things planned. I've got so much things. My time is literally 24 8. I'm constantly thinking, planning, working, thinking, working towards my future kind of thing. And unless God brings somebody who just literally fits right into. The plan it shouldn't be a case where I meet a girl who wants me to take my time away from everything I've been working for just to give attention. We're both broke together because we, we're not focusing. <laughs> it makes me sick when I see people going, Oh, like these girls that complain, go, Oh, like, oh, I want a guy who's got his stuff together, but I want him to give me all the time in the world and be able to reply every single second. If I'm working on my projects, editing, doing this, doing that. How is that going to be possible? Do you know what I mean? And stuff like that I see on Twitter even just puts me off even like, approaching people who I find nice. Yeah. It's my birthday in October and a new thing I've decided um, in my progression and in my way of improving myself is that I want to lose weight now. I want to lose weight. And of course you're going to be thinking, James, that like, you've been fat. <laughs> you've been fat. Uh, you just notice him now. No, of course I've known. But as part of my, like, self-confidence journey, which I'm still, I feel I still am going through, but in such a good place, though, I'm able to speak about bigger guys, speak about myself being big. Do uh, you know when you don't even want to bring up conversations because you don't want to self-consciously have to talk about your weight or, like, someone references your weight, so you just avoid the conversation in advance? I'm trying to even think of an example... I decide that I wanna lose weight, and like I feel like health is wealth in it, and it's gonna be part of me feeling even better than I already do feel. Me glowing even more, I glow. Me looking even more of a smooth chocolate darling that I am. So yeah, I've been carrying what. It's not been for too long actually, but I'm jumping into this. And me saying this on YouTube now means I actually have to commit to it. It puts the pressure on. You all have the right to see if you see me on Snap eating something that doesn't make sense or snapping something that don't make sense for my health and for me to lose weight. You have all right to speak your thing. I've decided to start eating more healthier. I've been putting, deciding to sign up to gym. It's, just, oh, it's a lot even thinking about it, but like, I'm not adding more to such a busy routine, but it's gonna be a blessing. I'm looking for that mental discipline from in the mind. I feel like I will learn and be able to challenge myself by going to the gym. And yeah, I might start being slim. I might, some of these clothes might start clooping on me and anything. It's just, it's just time for something new, isn't it? I've been like a big lad all my life, end of the day. I've always been like a big guy, one of the biggest in my school, probably the biggest in my school. So I'm used to being the big guy. I'm used to do having to shop for the big guy. I'm used to having to like make like I'm just you have the mindset of a big guy. I was now time for something different in it. So yeah, I'm going to lose some weight and I proclaim it. It's gonna happen. If you guys have any ideas or know anything about losing weight, like people's big big like me, because I'm big. I'm willing to put the work in in it and. Yeah, me speaking this out means I've got to do something, so yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm going into third year soon. 
dropping a line suit, the clothing line soon with visionaries. You should check it on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat. I'm sorry I'm bringing you this video by my phone, but yeah, that's what God's provided today. We're working with it. Thank you for watching this. Thank you if you've ever supported me, given me kind words. It means a lot to me. I genuinely appreciate every single one of you who watch, even if the views are 100 views, or even if it's 1,200,000 views. Like, yeah, come through. Be your best self. Have a good week. And yeah, I'm going to have a nap and get ready for work tomorrow morning. Thank you for watching. Night.